that are following or secondary to that malabsorption. So diarrhea that occurs after the beyond tangy tangerine is a double problem. It's number one, it's a problem because you're not getting your BTT, your beyond tangy tangerine minerals, so you want to make sure you're sipping and also taking your BTT perhaps with a little bit of food. And then secondly, it means that you have malabsorption of regular food, just the foods that you're eating, which means it's extra important that you focus on using absorption aids to get the nutrients out of the food, apple cider vinegar and, and enzymes and, and such. Does that make sense, Debbie? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's an important question because a lot of folks deal with that, and it's not a BTT problem, it's an absorption problem, and it means that you're compromised probably in terms of absorption of foods as well as nu- of nutritional supplements. So I hope that helps, Debbie. Okay, anything else? Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your call. Okay, let's see. RC in California. What's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, Ben. Um, my wife's been having uh, nose bleeding uh, okay. quite often. How, how old's your wife? She's 62. Good health, though. No, she's not in good health because if she's got nose well, bleeds, that means something's going on. I'm not okay. saying that to pick on your wife. I'm not saying it to pick on your, your wife. But I'm saying it because we have to understand what's happening in our body. If she has nosebleeds, that means she's got weak blood vessels. That's what nosebleeds are a sign of, blood vessels that are weak. It could also be a sign of hypertension, that the blood pressure is too high and it's bursting the vessels. It could be a combination of high blood pressure and weakening of the blood vessels. If she's got weakening blood vessels in the, in the nose, she's probably got weakening blood vessels in other parts of the body. That means she's at higher risk for circulatory diseases, higher risk for aneurysms, higher risk for strokes. If she has uh, hypertension, uh, uh, bleeding secondary to high blood pressure, then she's got problems associated with high blood pressure. So what do you do? Well, we want to approach this two ways. Number one, you want to work on strengthening the blood vessels, the circulatory system. The blood vessels are made up or are strong because of protein, specifically a protein called collagen. Collagen is an elastic protein that everybody knows about in their skin, but what we don't often think about is that uh, collagen has uh, a role to play in bone health. It has a role to play in the health of the structure of the body, and it has a very important role to play in the integrity and the strength, the robustness of the circulatory vessels, the blood vessels. So working with collagen building strategies is very, very important. In fact, the first most important thing I would do if you're dealing with chronic nosebleeds is work on uh, building collagen. How do you do that? Well, number one, more protein. Collagen is obviously a protein, so eating more protein is going to be important. And specifically, proteins that contain the building blocks of collagen, cartilage kinds of proteins. Bone soup is a great strategy. That's got great cartilage proteins. Using the glucogel caps, eating uh, cartilage, eating the knobby part of chicken bones can be helpful. Using glucosamine, which is a component of, uh, cartil- of, uh, of collagen-like material, not specifically of collagen, but support factors for collagen the glucogel caps, uh, maybe taking two or three couple times a day, that can be helpful for you. Uh, eating whey protein and egg protein and regular protein kinds of foods, uh, protein-containing foods with digestive enzymes and with apple cider vinegar to make sure you're getting the advantage of the proteins. And then, as we said earlier, vitamin C is a very, very important nutrient for building collagen. In fact, Everybody knows that vitamin C deficiency disease is called scurvy, but what we might not know is scurvy is a collagen issue. It's when you can't make collagen because you don't have vitamin C. In fact, nosebleeds and bleeding in general is one of the signs of scurvy. Not saying your wife has scurvy, but she may have, she may be heading in that direction. So, and by the way, there is a, something called subclinical scurvy, and a lot of people, including Dr. Matthias Rath, who wrote a book called Why Animals Don't Get Heart Attacks, a, a lot of physicians and alternative practitioners believe that heart disease itself and nosebleeds it's itself are just signs of a subclinical scurvy or vitamin C deficiency. So using vitamin C as a supplement, using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, that can also help. If it's high blood pressure, if you suspect high blood pressure, and you can always take her blood pressure and see if she's dealing with the high blood pressure issues, the uh, high blood pressure issue. There's lots you can do. My favorite way to deal with high blood pressure in the immediate sense is deep breathing techniques, just slow, deep breathing, because hypertension, high blood pressure are a classic sign of an emergency response, and nothing will initiate an emergency response faster than a lack of oxygen. So making sure you're oxygenating correctly is important. Deep breathing techniques, getting those apps I always talk about, bio breathing and my calm beat, that can be helpful. Uh, using uh, uh, reducing sugar intake because next to, next to shortages in oxygen, changes in blood sugar, hypo and hyper, 
high and low blood sugar are also emergency conditions. So stabilizing the blood sugar is also important. You do that with more protein. So making sure she's getting more protein can actually help her in two ways. It can help her with her high blood pressure issues and can also help with building the blood vessels. Of course, the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, that goes without saying. That's the Healthy Start Pack. Essential fatty acids in particular can be healthy, important for blood vessels. There are minerals that are important for the integrity and strength of blood vessels. Uh, copper is important, very, very important for uh, building strong connective tissue, uh, strong blood vessels. Blood vessels are actually a type of connective tissue. Magnesium may be helpful. So making sure she's on the Healthy Start Pack, essential fatty acids, omega-3s and omega-6s are also important. So making sure she's on the Healthy Start Pack is another very important strategy. So lots you could do, but most importantly uh, is to really regard her nosebleeds as a health issue. That's a sign that the body is breaking down, and I guarantee you, RC, I don't know your wife, obviously, but I guarantee you she's got other health conditions going on. And if you can focus on those, if you can look to what's going on in the rest of the body, digestive problems, thyroid problems, adrenal health problems, diabetes, blood sugar problems, weight gain problems, that can give you some very, very important clues as to what's happening in the body that's leading to those nosebleeds. So when I say your wife's not healthy, I, I certainly don't mean to attack her or curse her or, or, or label her in any way, but it's just important that we recognize it so that we can really start paying attention to what exactly is happening in the body. Oftentimes, in the body, it's not where we think the problem is. It doesn't, it's not where the a, a problem is apparently. It's not where the problem is obviously. It's underneath where the problem really is. So the nosebleeds aren't the problem. They're the sign of the problem. And that's oftentimes how it works when it comes to taking care of health and degenerative disease. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue you actually we'll finish up hopefully talking about fats and and then we'll move on into our next protein amino acid the super duper super amino acid for building for wound healing for anti-aging for blood sugar control etc i'm pharmacist ben thanks for listening have a wonderful beautiful awesome day we'll talk to y'all later bye for now Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. And when you call 1-800-721-4255 today, you can have it tomorrow. Proactive Plus is the modern acne miracle that treats your skin beautifully. The plus means more. More precise, targeted medicine for faster, gentler acne prevention. And more skin-loving solutions so your complexion can look bright and beautiful. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-721-4255. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus. Guaranteed 100% risk-free. You won't see this limited-time offer on TV. It's a radio exclusive. 1-800-721-4255. 1-800-721-4255. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years in serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order on